Hi there everybody, this is Ms. Nelson here and today we are doing lesson 11.5 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math books. Lesson 11.5 is about solving when we have unknown angle measures. So solving for the unknown angle. So we're going to take what we learned in the rest of chapter 11 and apply it to this lesson in order to be able to find missing angles. So let's just get right into it. We have Laura cuts a square out of scrap paper as shown over here. Oh, by the way, if you're in my class, I'm sorry, you should be filling out page 437 in your big books as we go along with this. Okay, again, Laura cuts a square out of scrap paper as shown right here. What is the angle measure of the piece left over? The piece left over would be where we have our X. It says, first draw a bar model to represent the problem and then write the equation that we need to solve. So, first of all, we're starting with the whole angle, this whole thing, giving us a total of 115. So, a bar model, there's my bar, and we know the whole thing is equal to 115. Now, we want to solve for x. We don't know what x is, so I'll make a box of x. But we do know something right here, even though it's not written plainly. This little box down here at Vertex N for QNP is 90 degrees. That means it's 90 degrees. So we know the whole thing is supposed to be 115. And we know that QNP is 90. So if we take our 115, subtract the 90 that we know, it should give us the measure of X. So when I do 115 minus 90, that gives me 25 degrees. So the measure of angle M and Q is 25 degrees. And another way of saying that, so the angle measure of the piece left over is 25 degrees. Okay, number two. Well, what if Laura cut a smaller square as shown? Would the angle, the measure of angle M and Q be different? So they're saying, well, what if she just drew a square right here and cut all this extra stuff off? Would X be different? Well, let's look at that. We still have the whole thing here measuring 115 degrees. We still have Q and P as measuring 90 degrees. And we still have our X over here. So no, this is basically still the same problem. Even though they cut off this, the square, so the size of the square, the size of the square has changed, but the angles are still the same. So we're going to come up with the same answer of 25 degrees because it still needs to be a total of 115. The angle QNP is still 90 degrees, so the leftover part would still be 25 degrees. All right, and last one. There's still a number four on this page, but we're only doing through number three. Number three says Jackie trimmed a piece of scrap metal to make a straight edge as shown. She, what is the measure of the piece that she trimmed off? So she wanted to make this straight edge right here. So she cut off X. So it tells us that she started with this angle being 225 degrees. And then the other angle that we know is, we know this is a straight edge. It told us a straight edge. So this part right here, the straight edge, is worth 180 degrees because it makes a straight line. So if I take off that 180 degrees at the top, then I would be left with the X over here. So whatever this equals is my X. So 225 degrees minus 180 degrees, when I do 225 minus 180, it gives me the measurement of 45 degrees. So X is equal to 
45 degrees. So for that problem, it's a little bit trickier. You had to realize that this was a straight edge. So you have the whole thing, the straight edge plus X being 225. And then you subtract the straight edge that you know to get the X. The straight, is, the straight line is always worth 180 degrees. All right, so if you're in my class, you should have filled out page 437. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a message. Thanks.